Good everyone. Good morning, wherever you are around the world. It's John Doolittle here for uh, Katsu Global. Before we kick it off and uh, hand it over to Laurel, there's there's something I just want to cover with the cycle 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and push and hold, and turn it on here. When you're storing this thing, try to always, when you're not using it, try to always put it back in the case. Always take these things off the end and put it back in the protective case. What some people are doing is for convenience, they're just taking these tubes and they're wrapping them tight around the machine and setting this off to the side. When you do that, there's a problem. Here at this connection, if you kink this hose over and over again, what happens is you'll develop a pinhole leak right there. And the way you know you have a pinhole leak is when you try to run this at the higher pressures, uh, it won't quite get to the higher pressures. Um, so if you remove these and store it in the protective case, that won't happen. Um, if you do get a pinhole leak there, it's a very simple fix. You just remove this completely, cut that half quarter inch off, and then put it back on. Maybe a little soapy water to help you get it back on, and I'll take care of the problem. A uh, real common thing that we see guys use, not taking the hose, not storing them properly. Um, that's all I got, Stephen, unless you have any announcements, and uh, we can hand it over to Laurel. Go ahead, Laurel. Uh, Laurel, all I right. wanna, Laurel, I want to say we have a special uh, swimmer all the way from South Korea joining us today. So Kyle Wan is in South Korea. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Nice. Kyle made it back to Korea. Wonderful. Good. Okay. Well, what a great way to start your day. Very early today. Um, so we've got Instagram going. We've got Zoom going. Everyone's got their bands. Um, we did this last week, and we're going to do this again today. To build some strength, we're going to do slightly longer intervals in a lot of our exercises. So instead of 30 seconds two times, we're going to do more of a 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off interval type training. So we're going to work really hard today because it's Monday. We've got someone here doing the work at 4 a.m., so let's make the most of it. So go ahead and get your cycles going. Get your bands on. And I'm going to stay on my knees. You guys, come on up to stand. And let's just start to move the shoulders around. Get everything kicking. Whether it's nine o'clock at night or four o'clock in the morning, can't ever hurt the body just to move around. All right. And then go ahead and extend your arms out by your sides. And we're gonna do what I call rigging out the washcloth for mobility. So find your right palm, start to wrap it up. Left palm reaches back behind you. Ring your shoulders out in the opposite direction. Squeeze, hold, keep reaching your fingertips in opposite directions. We have five, four, three, two. Other way, ring them out, squeeze and reach for six, five, four, three, two. Two more times, ring them out, squeeze and reach. Five, four, three, two. Last one, making sure wrists are in line with shoulders. We have five. Four, three, two, awesome. Next set, arms up like a scarecrow or a cactus. Drop that right hand down. Press the left hand back behind you. Squeeze, create mobility for five, four, three, two. Switch it out, keep your elbows up. Don't let them get sleepy. Squeeze, five, four, three, two. Last set, rotate, five, four, three, two. Last one, five, four, three and two. Good, shoulders should be starting to feel it. Roll them out. Going right into our forearm work, smaller muscles to bigger muscles. Hands out by the sides, but we wanna keep our wrists below our arms so that we can really get the benefits of the band. We're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Make fists, start to curl your fist in towards your forearms. Curl, 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 okay? Really squeezing the fingers, creating resistance in the body. Curl and curl. That's the stuff, good. See if you can lengthen out your arms even more. And squeeze, squeeze and squeeze, good. Pace is up to you, 
just starting to warm things up, maybe a slow pace. We have three sets of these, so keep making them good. Curl and curl. Last 10, then we're gonna make 20 seconds rest in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, 20 seconds. Next set, elbows into the body, palms out in front of you, same thing. Make those fists, 20 seconds, we are rolling. Curl it in, 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 in. Now my elbows don't flare out to the sides, and I keep them underneath my shoulders the whole time. See so if you can squeeze your elbows in towards your body even more, isolating the forearm muscles. Curl, curl. Imagine you're holding little dumbbells. Get them in. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. Half done. 20 more seconds. If you're starting to feel that burn, good. If you're not, pick up the pace. Curl, curl, curl. We have 10. Then we're going to rest and we have our final set in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. One more set. Quickly, check your hands on your rest. Press your palm. Notice if your cap refill, that point from white to red is within three seconds. If not, your bands are too tight. Adjust them. Elbows in. Last set. We're going fast pace. Here we go. Curl, 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 curl. As fast as you can go. 40 seconds on. Now, making sure that we don't compromise posture in the name of working our forearms. So keep lifting up the top of your head, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Curl, 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 curl. Half done, keep that pace fast. Go, go, go. Bands are working, elbows in. Yes, all right, keep going. Let's see who we've got on with us today. 10 more seconds. Mm-hmm, good. We have eight, seven, six, good Ethan, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, everyone, shake it out. Woo. Okay, next up, triceps. We're gonna do this one on our side. So make your way down onto your right side. Take your right arm, give yourself a hug. Take your left arm, press it into the mat. We're gonna press up and down, up and down. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, four sets, okay? Doesn't matter if you get that arm straight, but try and work towards it. Press up and down. If you want extra challenge, don't let your bottom shoulder hit the mat. Up, part way down, up, part way down. Already starting to feel it in the triceps. That's what we want. Up and down. Keep going. Yes. Half done. Good. If you need a little bit wider base, spread your fingers wider to take some of the pressure off your wrist. Last 10. Then we're going to take a quick rest and do the same side again. We're going strength. For five, four, three, two, and one. Release your bottom arm, take a rest. You can stretch your top arm out, maybe move it around. Good, let's reset ourselves up for the next set. Top hand roots into the floor. Bottom arm, you give yourself a hug, tangling everything up. Then try and get that right shoulder off the floor, keep it up the entire time. We go up. Part way down, up, part way down. Yes. Good. I don't know about you guys, but I feel this already. Half done. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Nice job, Instagram. Good job, Kaori. Nice. Good. Last five, four, three two, and one. 20 seconds rest, flip around onto your other side. So now I'm on my left side. My right hand reaches into the floor, my left arm reaches around, and I grab my side, okay? Next set, we're gonna go right into it, and here we, get my timer going, here we go. Up and down, up and down. You get to set the pace, so it doesn't have to be speedy because we're doing longer sets today. We want to make sure that we can build a sustainable pace for our body. I lost my tube. Got to attach that guy back there. Keep going. There we go. Back in business. Last five, four, three, two. Untangle the bottom arm. Move the top arm around. 
Even though we're on our side, we want to prevent lactic acid buildup. So keep it moving. And we'll set up for our last one. Top hand roots into the floor. Bottom arm wraps around the body. Final 40 seconds. Here we go. Up. Partway down. Up. Partway down. Good. And as you're doing this, see if you can work into it. So if you haven't been able to press yourself all the way up and off the floor with a straight arm, try that now. See if you can use that little extra bit of strength that you might have gained just getting used to doing the exercise to push yourself slightly beyond a point that you might have been comfortable doing otherwise. That's how we grow stronger. Amazing. Everyone looks great. Last 15 seconds. Good job, Instagram. Nice job. Good. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Everyone come up to sit. Shake it out. Move it around. All right. You can either do this next one on your knees or come fully up to stand. Your choice. Good old-fashioned bicep curl. The same thing we did with our forearm work. Elbows into the body. Make fist. We're going to pull them in. Out, in, out. 40 seconds. Here we go. See if you can get your core involved to keep the body stable and still. Out, in, out, contracting those muscles. And how much you squeeze and contract can determine the bulk and the muscle you build. So if you really squeeze, contract more slowly, you're going to build a little bit bigger muscles than if you're just going for a little bit of tone and leanness. So that's part of the beauty of the band is we get to choose what we're doing with these. Good. Last 10. Yes. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Shake your hands. Option to clasp the hands. Bicep stretch. Press your fist down towards the floor. Good. We got two more sets. Release the clasp of the hands. Pull those elbows in. Make this second set. Option for this one to go fast. Out, in, out. But know that we have one more set after this. So slower pace is totally fine. I'm going to stick with the slower pace today because that's what feels right for my body. And I'm going to let you pick for you as well because that's the most important thing here. Yes. Ooh, I'm seeing alternating. I like it. You want to alternate? Alternate. Cool, Gabe. Awesome. Quentin's flying. John's pumping. Everyone looks good. Last 10. Go, Chris. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We're feeling it. We're feeling it. Woo Wiggle it all around. One more set. Final burst. Now is the time to go fast. Maybe not the entire time, but I'm going to give you the halfway heads up. And at that point, give it everything you've got. Okay? It's very safe to do this. We're working our biceps and we're keeping good control of our body. So make those fists. 40 seconds. Last set. Let's go. We should be fully fatiguing our muscles at this point. All right, that's it. Elbows don't move. Pull them in towards the body even more. Yeah. Wonderful, Diane. Bonnie is going fast. Half done. Fly. If you want to go fast, go fast. Yes. This is it. Woo, Lily. Good. Last eight. Seven. Ooh, Kyle, oh my goodness. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone together, clasp your hands, lengthen it out, press your fist down. Then, if you can, start to lift your arms up and off the back of the body. All right. Release it. Let's make our way down onto the mat. Two more exercises in our heart rate boost and we go into legs. We're coming down. It's a forearm plank punch. Again, speed is not the ticket item here. It's not what we're going for. We're going for sustainability and engaging the muscles, the shoulders that we're coming into our forearm plank. We're going to extend alternating arms. Reach, 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 and reach. Totally cool to do this on your knees. You're still getting into those shoulder muscles. Setting up. First set, forearm plank punch, go. 
And when you extend your arms, I want you to fully straighten your arm out. So don't let there be any bend in the elbow. So we're getting into shoulder mobility as well. And we're really pressing that base arm into the floor. We are half done. Good. Nice. I see a Keziah. I could be completely butchering that name. Is that also Kayleen in there? Or is it two different people? Yes, okay, I see Kayleen too. Okay, last five. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job, everybody. Make your way onto your hands. Option to walk your arms forward, quick shoulder stretch before we jump right into our second set. 10 more seconds rest. You can breathe through it, you can flop, you can sip water, whatever you need to do. Good, we'll meet back on our forearm. Second set, here we go. Reach and reach, yes. And I happened to see this weekend that Kayleen had a birthday. So everybody have a birthday to this girl. <laughs> Keep going. Have done. Hi, Adam. Last 10. Nice, yes. We're going to release in five, four, three. Keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. However you want to do it, you can pull your butt back to your heels. 20 seconds, let yourself hang. Now, last set. This is the opportunity to go fast if you feel comfortable going fast. Start to shift your weight forward. Come back down onto your form. Now, if you want to add some speed to this, I encourage, instead of a punch speed, you imagine you're grabbing something. Grab, grab, grab. Pull it in. In, in, and in. Okay? Final set. Let's go. All right, going to be nice and tired after this for the arms. Shoulders are working. Now, as you do this, however you're going fast or slow, check your breathing. We do not want to be holding our breath here. So breathing as slowly as you can, even though we're doing really hard work. Last 15 seconds, going all out for 10. Good, give those hips a squeeze, keep them stable. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, everybody come on to hands and knees. Walk your arms forward. Keep those elbows off the mat. Shoulder stretch. And we especially want to keep our elbows off the mat so that our wrists are underneath our shoulders. They're not in one long line and our bands can still be doing the work for us. All right. Walk the hands back towards the body. Last exercise. It is X plank. We've done this before in our heart rate boosting portion. We're going to do it now for one minute. In a plank position, I tap my right arm towards my left leg and I shift back into plank. I switch sides and I shift back into plank. Another alternative is you can do this on your knees and tap alternating thigh. Okay? If you get tired of doing the X planks, you can always pause and hang out in regular planks, okay? One minute, opposite hand, opposite leg, let's go. And as you come into that X plank, really pressing your hips up and back, then shifting forward, shoulders over wrist. Hips up and back, shift it forward. I actually like an X plank a little bit better than a regular plank because it gives me something to do. Keep it up, keep it up. Good job, Instagram. We are half done. So knowing that we're here, if you want to move faster, you can, but make sure to keep good form. As we shift forward, shoulders stay stacked. Last 20 seconds. After this, we're going to give the hands a rest. We have 10. Come on, keep moving for seven, six. Nice, Bonnie. Five, four, three, two, and we all come down onto our knees. Make your way down to sit. Give the wrist a roll. And 
And take this moment to enjoy your rest while I demonstrate our three cardio moves of the day. So it's 30 seconds of each one. Overhead jacks, we're familiar with these. Okay, 30 seconds. Then it's floor touch squats. So we go in, squat, in, squat, in, squat. After that, we have high knee run. All out run with those knees up, okay? So everybody hop on up to stand. After this, we're gonna take a water break. One and a half minutes, or yeah, 90 seconds. Pure core, starting with overhead jacks. Here we go. No, I don't want a full minute. Here we go. <laughs> Much better. Good, light on the toes. Get those arms all the way up. Keep them nice and straight. Keep going. Yes. Woo! Good. Well, and I saw a comment when I do push-ups on my knees and planks on my knees, is there a difference in the position? I'll address that um, as soon as we're done with our cardio boost. Good question. Good. Last 10. Good. We're going to go right into floor touch squats in five, four, three, two. Start with the feet in. We squat. Reach up. Reach up. This is it. We're moving. Try and keep your chest up. We don't want to round out, get slouchy. Stick your hips back, your butt back, down and up. If jumping is not in the card today, you can step. Step. Movement is movement. Ooh, that's 10. Then we're going to come into our high knees run. And by run, I mean sprint. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and run. Run it out. Knees up, arms are moving. Higher than those toes. If you want to run around in circles around your house or your yard, do it. All out sprint. Go, 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 go. Faster. Yeah. Have them. Last 10, all out, go, 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 up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and run. Everyone shake it out. Ditch your armbands. We're going to switch them out. Grab your water. Quick pause. Whew. I'm breathing hard. <laughs> all right. So as we switch out our bands, the question was, when I do push-ups on my knees and planks on my knees, is there a difference in the position? And I think I understand the question, but if I don't hit the nail on the head, please feel free to ask again or to go ahead and unmute and clarify. So when we do push-ups and plank on our knees, when we do our push-ups and our plank, we like to think about the form of the joints are stacked, right? So if I'm in high plank, my shoulders are over my wrist. And if I'm in forearm plank, my shoulders are over my elbow. And so the positioning is the same for the upper body here. The only difference is instead of being up like this, we want to keep the joint stacked also in the lower part of the body. So that means my knees would drop under my hips. So instead of just one set of stacked joints, now we have two. And if that didn't answer the question, please feel free to give me a shout and I'm happy to clarify. All right, big sip of water for everybody. Let's swap out those bands and get ready for legs. Okay, so per John's recommendation, if you can, pop your bands up standing by sliding them as high up and the leg creases as you can. And if you've done this a ton of times before and it's redundant, I'm sorry, if this is your first time, let's do it together. Go ahead and get those bands all the way up angling the tubing up and towards your hips. So you can even grab the outer edges of both your bands and kind of hike them up a little bit more. Now, once you're standing, if you've not already done so, let's all actually come down to sit and see if you can tighten your bands a bit more so that we can get a little bit more blood flow restriction going in there. 
legs are big, strong muscles. They can take a little bit more than the arms. All right, we're all set up. So, let's take the hands to the hips and let's give ourselves kind of a rock side to side to warm up a little bit, open things up. Resetting our cycles, resetting our brains. All right, good. So starting with smaller muscles to bigger muscles, we're going to do sumo heel lift. Make sure I get my cycle going before I'm teaching. All right, now I'm going. Gotta walk the walk. Okay, so feet stay wider than hip distance. I angle my toes out and I wanna take a bend in the knees. And the bend in the knees is up to you how deep that bend is. Obviously this is gonna be a little bit harder or a lot harder than this. So pick your position and we wanna press the outer edges of the knees back. And we're gonna do our 40 seconds down, 20 seconds left, heel lift side to side. And you'll notice as I'm doing this, my spine is nice and straight and my hips are shifted back so I'm not forward. I wanna keep my weight in my heels so much so that when you set yourself up, you can pick your toes off the floor. So that's a good indicator of if your weight balance is correct. Now, let's start our time alternating heel lifts side to side. And ideally, you can even take your hands to your hips. My hips don't move. The movement's just from the hip bone down. Yeah, and you can even sink your butt super low and do it. I'm gonna check form just to make sure our knees are in good alignment. Good. John, if you want to step a little bit wider, you can. Fantastic. Good. And actually stepping wider makes this a little bit easier because we're actually we're able to open up our hips um, and it's less pressure on our calves. Good. Last 10. Good, Brandon. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, butts down, three, two, and one. Great. Go ahead and release it. And so the reason I told John to step his feet wide, and this is a really common thing, is when we do this, sometimes we can kind of front load the pressure on our knees um, when we have a narrower stance. And by stepping wider, it makes it easier to not do that. We can open this up instead of putting the pressure here. And it's not doing anything wrong. It's just optimizing the movement for your body so that we can provide some opening with our strength. So second set, drop your butt down. Get those knees open side to side. Good, you can take hands to hips, you can take arms out to the side, you can take them up, whatever feels good. As long as your upper body is not moving, it's your lower body doing the work. And if you wanna really challenge yourself, keep both heels off the floor as you do it. Ooh. <laughs> yes, good, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest, come on up. Now your calves should be starting to feel it so much so that they're almost starting to shake or they are starting to shake. That's what we want, that's how we build muscle. So this next set, the challenge I'm gonna give you, and we're gonna drop into the sumo squat position together to see if you can lift both heels up, both heels down. Better yet, don't ever let your heels touch the floor. 40 seconds, we're grooving. Woo. <laughs> And as you do this, keep dropping your butt lower. Challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. Half done. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two. Everybody, right heel up. Hold it. Pulse it down and up. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Work into it. Last one, maybe not. I think we're gonna throw in one more surprise. For four, three, two, both heels up. Work into it. Eight, seven, low as you can go. Six, five, four, three, two, and come on up. Parallel the feet, rock the hips side to side. Nice work. Okay. Calves are burning. Let's move around a little bit. Heart rate boost. 30 seconds. Overhead jacks. Go. Let's 
Light on those toes. We've been practicing keeping our heels up. Now is the time to use those skills, those calf muscles. Last 10, then we're going into floor touch squat. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet start together. We either step or jump or groove it. Chest is up, good posture. And as we do this, we don't have to take it too seriously. We're bouncing around, we're working our bodies. If we fumble, hopefully we can laugh ourselves and keep going. Plus 10. Good, in eight, we're gonna go into that run with high knees. We have six, five, four, three, two, and run it out. Last one, then we're gonna take a break and grab some water. Maybe run around, maybe run back. You can even run side to side, as long as those knees are up, heels up. Last 10, all up, break, go, go, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody keep moving, but grab your water. Oh good, I saw the comment about the positioning and push up in place. I'm glad that was helpful. Please guys, if you have questions about anything, ask them. That's why we're here. You can even message me privately. All right, as you're drinking your water, drink a lot of water, we're gonna prepare for our next exercise. It is a lunge step back. So I start with my water bottle in the video. I just start in a drop position. I step right foot back, in, left foot, in. So we practice this position when we were doing our heel lift. My upper body does not move. So you can take your hands to your hips to keep them down. We're not bobbing. I want to see you get low and stay low. Now, the other principle we practiced was keeping our weight in the heels. So as you're doing this, drop into that bent knee position and see if you can pick your toes off the floor. Now, if you can do that, you know that your weight is back, you're in a good form. Drop your toes down, but keep the weight where it is and start to move, 40 seconds. If at any point your knees start to shift forward, I'm gonna call you on it in the most loving way. See if you can get even lower, maybe take hands to hips, keep pressing your hips down, get your butt down. This is where we build strength, quads, glutes. Mm -hmm. Half done, pace. Doesn't matter, get your butt down. Engage your spine, engage your core. Keep the upper body, the pinnacle of strength, upright, length, position, last five, four, three, two. Step the back foot up to meet the front foot, hands across the chest, optional good morning stretch for your 20 seconds rest. Or you can just hang out and breathe. Good. 10 more seconds, letting the breath slow down. And after this next one, step the feet, hips distance apart and parallel. Bend your knees, sink your butt back, check your positioning, lift your toes up, second set, go. If you want more on this one, reach your arms forward. Keep them in line with the shoulders, but don't let your upper body move. Isolating the muscles of the legs. We should be feeling that burn. Good. Good, everybody chest up a little bit. I'm noticing I'm starting to slouch a little bit. It's not the game. Awesome. Last 10, sink your butt down. We can do it. Woo, five, four, three, two, and one. Step back foot up to meet front foot. Optional stretch, walk your hands down to your thighs, straighten opposite legs. Active stretching to keep us from getting too tight. We have one more set. If you want to really challenge yourself this time, take that position, hover one foot off the floor, imagine you're tapping back, pull it in. Imagine you're tapping back, Pull it in and I'll tell you when we're half done. So I really want to bend into that standing leg. Ah, 
in, out, in, okay? 40 seconds, time is going. I'll tell us at the halfway point. Upper body does not shift. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good, as you extend that leg back, see if you can fully extend it back. Take any bend out of the knee. Woo! Sophie and Sydney, awesome. Gabe's got it, switch sides if you're doing a single leg. Good, Lily, good, Liam. Mm-hmm, last 10. Aileen looks confused. <laughs> we have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good job. Okay. Next up, we've gone away with doing no burpees for the last two times that we've exercised. Today's the day to revisit those, but it is a modified burpee. What this looks like, I am in plank position. I either step up, step up, or I jump up, rise, come back down in a squat position, step back, step back. So option one, step up, step up. Squat number one, up. Squat number two, step back. Alternatively, jump, hop, come down, hop back. And you can add steps or jumps in there, however feels right for your body. But there are two squats in this. Please do not skip them. They are an important part of this workout, okay? So everybody meet in plank. And I'll do the first couple with you guys, 40 seconds. Either step or jump. Up, squat one, jump or step. Squat two, hop back. One, up, two, back. That's the stuff. Get those feet up as high as you can. Think a frog jump. Yes. I'm gonna call you girls the K team. <laughs> awesome. Last 10, keep going, keep going. See if you can do two more. We have seven, six, five, four, good Jeff. Three, two, and one. Come up to stand, shake it out. Second set, everyone come back into plank position. My challenge for you is see if you can get your feet as close to the outer edges of your hands as possible. So if you're stepping or you're jumping, get them all the way up, then keep moving. Second set, go. Good, and as we're in plank position, we wanna stay in good plank position. Joints are stacked. Yeah. Awesome guys, last 15. I believe that it's also Otto's birthday. So if he's on here, we should make him do an extra set. Last four, three, two, and rest. Way to squeeze the next one out, Justin. Nice. So we've got two birthdays in the house today. Should we do two extra sets? Two birthdays for burpees, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> all right, check it out, move. We have one more set. This is when we get to do our all out sprint. Birthday team, I wanna see perfect form. Make your way into plank. Final set. See if you can do all three jumps. Time is going. We have jump one, jump two, jump three. Let's go. Good. Keep moving. After this, we're going to take a rest. So we're going to take water. We're going to breathe deeply. Know that you can push yourself through this. Imagine yourself from 20 minutes ago. Channel that human, that energy. Keep going, come on, come on. Good. Last 15, go Chris, you're doing amazing. Last 10, see if you can do three more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and everybody down. Rest, 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 rest. Get up. Move, 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 move. Drink your water. Group cheers. And let's take a pause, a rest. We have one more leg exercise. And then we have one more heart rate boost. And then we take it down for core. I think we can do it. Also, I know we have South Korea. We have California. We have Boston. We have Florida. Is there anyone on here from a location that I have not mentioned? Unmute yourself and give us some, some love. Arizona. Arizona. All right. Colorado. Colorado. Yay. Look at us. We're doing pretty well. We got East Coast, got West Coast, got boring countries. All right. Let's jump in and get this workout done. Okay. It's a overstep lunge to squat. What the heck is an overstep lunge? I take my left foot, I step over, center, squat, center. Over, center, squat, center. Is it awkward? Absolutely. Pick how low you can go. So if it doesn't feel good to drop really low into it, just take a little bend in the knees and step back. If you can, all the way over, get your butt down at that squat. Get your butt down over into the squat. We're doing only the left leg. Things should be burning. 40 seconds. Let's go. Step it over, up, squat, up, over, up, squat, and up. If you want to add a jump, over, jump, squat, jump. But you got to pause in between because don't jump into an overline. That's just wild. I, I, that scares me. Half done. And the jump is not necessary because we're building strength. So focus on getting your butt low. Mm -hmm. Getting that back knee towards the floor. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good job. We're doing four sets of these. All right. Let's go right into the right leg. Step it over. Get low. Up in squat. All right, let's go. <sighs> nice, George. Good. Perfect, Lily. You guys, overstep lunges. It feels like we might, you guys maybe have done these before. I know not with me, but that form looks great. It's funky. I didn't know how we were going to take it, but it looks good. Nice game. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now, for the next step, we have our final one. If you want to try balance, we step over, lunge, center, squat, hold, step over. So each time you bring your foot back through center, you're hovering it. <laughs> All right, left leg, go. So especially if you're doing the hover, going for bodily control, pull that leg up in the center, drop into it, weight is in the heels. I lost it. And then go to the other side. That's it, half done. Good. When you come back through center, I want to see a little bit bigger pause. See if you can make that movement really mindful. Cool. Last 10. See if you can do one more for eight, seven, chest up, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Fantastic. Right to the other side. Step over. Pause. Squat. Pause. We're going. Last one. Good, making sure that our spine stays straight. Just because we're stepping the foot over does not mean we get slouchy. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can't see Charles, another Steve, Sean, Julia, or Adam, but keep doing it. Last 10 seconds, you're still getting love. Mm -hmm. Good, Liam. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone up to stand. Stay standing. Keep going. Heart rate boost. Overhead jack. 30 seconds. Last thing. Go. After this, we get to sit down. I'm doing it right here with you. We're getting our heart rate boosted. Starting out Monday with a bang. Pick up the pace. Come on. Go, go, go. Ten. And eight. We're going to floor touch squat. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together. Jump down. Up. Down. Up. We breathe, we move, our weight is in our heels. Half done, pick it up. Last 10, all out, go, 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 go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High knees, run. Whoop, I lost a band. <laughs> I think it's good luck. Keep running. Or they were not tight enough. Just goes to show, I'm getting sweaty too. Last 15 seconds, run, 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 run. All out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Keep moving, walk around, grab your water. Shake it out. All right, walk over to the top of your floor space. Walk your hands down your legs, come into a forward fold. No, we're not stretching quite yet. Bend your knees, walk your feet back. For our core portion, we are doing two minutes of core. First minute, cross body mountain climbers. So instead of speed, find contact or close to contact with knee to elbow. You can also do this on hands and knees. Both sets of joints are stacked. One minute, cross body mountain climbers, go. Keep it slow, keep it strong. Use your core. Each time you do it, get your knee a little bit higher towards your elbow, I know you can do it. And if you can't hit it today, that gives you a good goal, a good metric, something to work towards you in the future, which is important for us to have. All right, half done. If you need to take a break, tap those knees down and pop right back into it. Ooh, now, as we're doing this, this is the opportunity for us to slow down our breath. Our heart rate does not need to be screaming fast here. So keep moving, but see if you can breathe a little bit deeper. Last 15 seconds. After this, we're coming down onto our back. So the last bit of work your arms have to do, we have eight, seven, six, keeping the shoulders stable for four, three, two, and rest. Come on down to sit. Take a gaze at the screen for our last piece of work for the day. Single leg reach to butterfly sit up. So my feet are rooted into the floor. I come down, I reach up, tap, reach up, tap. Then I drop my knees to the sides, reach center. So my feet rooted into the floor. I reach up, tap towards right, come down, reach up, tap towards left, let my knees open and roll up. One minute. If you don't get the precise variation of this exercise, do some kind of core work. Keep moving, rolling up, getting hands to feet, firing up every part of your core, and I'll be right here demonstrating. All right, half done. See if you can get part. Part up and off 
your entire spine. So even getting your mid lower back off the floor. Last 20 seconds. Yes. Good. Everyone see if you can do two more reps. Keep going. Last eight. Mm -hmm. In five, we're going to pull the knees into the chest. We have four, three, two, and one. It is time to rest. Pull those knees in, rock side to side. Everybody, reach down, grab your toes. Or if you can't grab your toes, grab your shins. Try and grab your toes, and then straighten your legs out as much as you can. Doesn't matter how straight they go. That's why we do it. Keep those fingers on your toes. It's a nice little lever to help you get into it. Good. We're going to hold here with each exhale. See if you can press those legs a little bit straighter. All right. Bend the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Now, release your right leg and take your left leg across the body for a spinal twist. We did not do a lot of twisting today, and that's an important thing to incorporate into our workout. So if we don't do it in our work, we do it in our stretch. Good, right leg back through center. Release it, pull the left knee into the chest and guide it over to the right. Let your shoulders relax. Back of the head stays on the floor. You can look up to the ceiling. Even close your eyes. Bring the right knee back through center. And then prop yourself up to sit. Take the sole of the right foot into the left leg. If you want to actually stop your cycle and take your bands off now, you can. We're going to stretch for about two more minutes. Start to walk your hands down the left leg, letting forehead fall down towards the thigh. Two big breaths, letting the shoulders relax. And roll up to sit, switch sides, fold the left foot into the right thigh, walk your hands down that leg and fold. And you're not only gonna feel this in the back of the legs and maybe the outer hip, you might also feel this in the lower left side of your back, as long as it's not tugging too much, that is a good thing. Our QL, quadricemborum muscle, gets tight and this is a great way to stretch it. I hear a lot of people asking about lower back relief. Good, last two breaths. Roll up to sit. Go ahead and bring yourself up to stand. Make your way into a forward fold. You can take a little bend in the knees if it's too much pressure on the lower back. Grab opposite elbow, rock side to side, hamstring release, shoulder release. Switch the elbows. And then release your elbows with a little bend in your knees. Roll up as slowly as you possibly can. And once you come all the way up, bring your hands together. Give yourself a big round of applause for this Monday. We did great work. Happy birthday to Otto and Kayleen. If I miss anyone else's birthday, I, I'm sorry. Please let me know. I can, I can wish you a happy birthday and have a fantastic rest of the week. We'll be here same time tomorrow. Good job, everyone. Thank you.